hi guys welcome to my channel so today as promised I'll be sharing with you how to layer your body dresses when you're feeling body conscious it makes me feel excited to wear body con dresses even when my body is telling me uh uh you don't look you don't look too good today <laughs> As you guys know, on this channel, sustainability matters. And my current mantra is fabric, fit, and style. So I'll be sharing with you ways in which you can utilize the pieces from your closet and tips and tricks on how to be more sustainable in an era of fast fashion. Respect to bodycon dresses, of course, they are the go to pieces in fall and winter. So, I'm sure everyone has tons of them in their wardrobe. I have so many. So, I know that it could be boring at times to style them, and at the same time, your body is not always cooperating <laughs> for bodycon dresses unless you have a body that is, is always on point which I don't. <laughs> so I had to find creative ways to really, really get my money's worth from my body con dresses on days when my body isn't cooperating. And as well as when you get bored, you just want to make them look fresh and look new. So one of the ways I do that is often to pair them with a skirt and again this is the one that comes to my rescue because it is one with fastness that you can pull apart so it goes with almost everything in my wardrobe i have gotten so much wear so much wear out of this it's unbelievable so it's such a great piece and it's 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 definitely my go-to piece so I am actually killing two birds on, for animal rights people, you know that's an expression, right? I know you know. So yeah, so I'm actually killing two birds with one stone at the same time because I'm giving these two pieces more life and some elements of freshness by actually pairing them together. So this is how I style it. So this is the blank slate that we are starting with, guys. And nobody's body, as I've mentioned, is perfect. Well, okay then, fine, some people are. But this is my body today. And um, it is definitely on the puffy side. <laughs> so the first place to start is to get a fabulous undergarment guys get a body shaper and snatch your body in and of course then you grab your favorite skirt and my recommendation is often one that has buttons or fasteners like this one going down in the middle so that it allows more movement and it hides your perfect imperfections because that's essentially what they are <laughs> and I love this color I love this combination actually and I'm pairing it with my wide toe boot from Aldo that's a hundred percent leather it's been in my closet for ages I love the continuation of the rest onto the boots and of course I'm not crazy just yet so I had to add a duster coat to my look because it is fall right <laughs> this is the sister to the green I shared with you guys earlier and this is definitely one option in the early part of fall when it's not very cold and I love it because it fits right into the color palette and really bring the whole look together as it gets colder you could add your favorite statement coat this is mine 
It's a Burberry vintage piece. Oh my God. And because the dress is sleeveless, you would really need something really warm to counteract the cold. And for those who don't like the option of the skirt underneath, frankly, I don't know why you wouldn't. It gives it such a great pop of color. I absolutely love it. But as I have said before, this channel is pretty inclusive. So if you're pretty low key, definitely toss the skirt aside and add your favorite jacket, be it red, green, purple, orange, sky blue <laughs> you get the drift right another way I like to polarize my pieces is to pair them with a very cropped jacket oh my god I love this piece this has been with me for the past 18 or 19 years old and it looks almost uh, as if I bought it yesterday because it's natural fiber, very sturdy, it's a khaki piece. So if you're not feeling any love from your love handles today, a cropped jacket is a great option to handle the situation and make the rest of your body. I really love this piece guys. But for me, this is, this is a regular way of polarizing stuff. And by now, I am sure that you guys are familiar with some of the fabrics that definitely tickle my fancy because they are all natural fibers and I love them because they last longer, I don't have to go shopping often and they are biodegradable. For me, adding the skirt to it is definitely one way of making the outfit go from boring to just absolutely bombastic. So I love that. So if your problem area is below the waist, this is definitely the most suitable option for Sorry you. to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys, if you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. So this second dress is a dress I got from Winners, I think in 2017. Yeah. And I had it in my closet and was just, I never, I could never wear it because every time I wanted to, I never, I was always feeling bloated or definitely too body conscious to wear it. So now I am using this skirt and this skirt you guys have seen, it's a Zara piece that I got a few seasons back now. I love it. It's a perfect fall piece. Absolutely love it. And as you have noticed from um, me styling these pieces, I often choose skirts that have rows of buttons in the middle because it's not only easier, but I love the continuation of the upper and bottom part of the dress. I love the glimpse of the dress underneath the skirt. And yes, it's a little bit wrinkled, but Please iron your stuff. Don't do like me. Today was a bad, bad day. So <laughs> excuse that. But I love the pairing and I am so excited now to wear this piece because it's so much fun now. And look at the combo with the rust colored boots. Oh my God. Love it. Ah, uh, yeah. What would my fall wardrobe be without one of my favorite leather jackets yeah guys i don't know and i don't want to know because i can't live without them the bag is a fendi dupe that i found at a thrift shop 
you have seen it several times I pulled it into the mix because it captures the color palette of the boot and you don't necessarily have to pair it with a rust tan colored boot you can definitely choose a black boot but again for me it stifles my creative juices <laughs> so and I love contrast I don't mind that and I think rust goes beautifully with green any green anything orange greenish red I love that combo love I hope you find inspiration from the way I have formalized these pieces and that you would go look into your wardrobe and fall in love with your pieces again thank you guys so much for watching remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous. Love you and I'll see you soon.